Hello there, now we will set up a music bot that works in 2020 that will allow you to search for any YouTube video and play it via your bot and it also has a stop and play command and you can do a lot with this, this is a great foundation, you can build many music bots off of this, this is very powerful. Now let's get started. So we're going to get started and create our folder within the location, so cd changes directory. Now we're going to call the folder music bot, like that, cd, okay, there we go. So make sure you have code installed. What is code? Well, we're going to use VS Code, so make sure you got this installed. Now let's do code music bot, and that will open it in Visual Studio Code. There we go. Now, the extension I'm using for the theme, this is a, this is not the default theme. The extension I'm using is Horizon, if you're interested, but let's get started. So we're going to create the bot.js. Okay. Also, before we create the bot, we need to install the packages that we're going to use in the bot. Okay, so now, control shift back tick to open the terminal, we're going to npm init dash dash yes that will create a package dot json npm i dash s to save at discord dot js slash opus discord dot js now we remove the dot from opus because it doesn't have a dot which tripped me up earlier so mpeg static and yt search so five packages yt dl car let's go with that Okay, so we're going to type const client, we're going to destructure client, and then we're going to require discord.js. Now this will get client from discord.js. So we're also going to make a const bot equals new client, like this. Okay, so we made a new client. We need a way to log in the bot. How do we log in the bot? So bot.login, our token, so in discord developer portal. We go discord.com slash developers here. So we're going to use one PG demo for this tutorial. Okay, so make sure you create an application and a bot. So let's regen. So we're going to copy this token here. Paste it in. Cool. So we log we've logged in. So when the bot is ready, we want to log. So, arrow function, then log within the bot.ready. So, we're going to log bot has logged in. So, when the bot is ready, it's logged in. Also, let's give that a try. So, control shift back tick again. Now, we're going to type node dot, and that will open this, or you can also type node bot.js, which is better, but both work in this case, so bot.on, okay, so we get a lot of things here, so the bot's logged in, we can verify that in a minute, bot.on message, so when there is a message, what do we do, well, if the message author is a bot, we want to Ignore that. Okay, so we, the, we're we going to set a prefix here, and it's going to be dot. Now, it's going to be have commands like dot play, like that. That's fine. So if the message does not start with prefix, so it currently is, but if it does not, then we want to ignore it too. We're going to type const command name equals get command name. I'm going to pass in the prefix and the message content, message.content. And we're going to type args here, which stands for arguments. Get, get arguments. Or get command args. And that will path have the same parameters or arguments as these. So message.content, 
actually pass in that. Let's define these functions here. So function get command name. So it takes in a prefix and a content of the message. Okay, so we return content and then let's do this. We slice the length of the prefix. So let's say we typed the message content is play and jr discord bot. That's a bit long, so just play add and jr. This would be play add and jr because we slice off the prefix. I have a completely different tour on that. So we split, so this will split it into an array and an into words really, and we'll get the first word, so that will just be play. If we type one, we'd get Adam JR, but we just want the first word which gets the command name. So now we type function, make another function, get command args like this. Similarly, that takes in a prefix and the content. Now, we return the same thing here. Okay, we're going to sl slice off the prefix. Then, we're going to split it into words, separated by space. And then we're going to slice off the command name. So now it's just everything other than the command name, every other word, separated by space. There we go, we have it there. So, if command name triple equals, so if it equals play, what do we do? We're going to return and we're going to make another function, but it's going to be play. So we're going to play, we're going to pass in the message here and the args, so this here. Otherwise, if the command name equals stop, we're going to return stop. Now I have a m another tutorial on command handling that is more efficient than this. Okay, so we're going to make a file called commands.js and this will contain all the commands and these functions. Now how do we export, how do we get play and stop? Well, we're going to import it from this. So we type const play and comma stop. They are the commands, command functions from dot slash, so current directory, commands. That was simple. Okay, so we're, we need to export to import. Otherwise, that won't work. So const, we're going to make, before we do that, we're going to require two packages. One will be for downloading YouTube videos, which means the streams, and so we can play it in audio. So we're getting a an audio, like a media stream from YouTube videos. So search YT. Now this will just get the URL by searching. So the URL of the video, and then we pass it into here. That makes sense later. So we're gonna export play. So, I'm going to export the function play, dot play equals play, and stop equals stop. So let's define them functions, so function play, now, what do we do here? Well, this is going to be asynchronous because it takes time, that's what async means. So, now, we're going to get the voice channel. Remember, this takes in the message and the arguments. Not just one argument. It takes in multiple arguments. It takes in an array of arguments. This will spread across. This is the spread operator. Multiple arguments. So, remember the example. Dot play. Add and JR. Discord bot. So, this will be add and JR, comma, discord, comma, bot, as three arguments, like this, but as a string. So, dot, 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 args. Now, we're going to make a const query. We don't need to do that, though. That is going to be the args. So, vc equals now. That is the voice channel. So, the message dot, 
member dot voice dot channel. Okay. That's the voice channel right there. Now, what can we do now with that? Well, we can make a connection to that voice channel. So vc.join. So await. So this takes time for it to join the channel. And then we make a video. Or we get the video, sorry. By searching it. How do we search it? We're going to make a function called find video. Simplify it. Query. So we pass in the query here. Now the query doesn't exist, so it will just be args.join because we didn't call it query. Okay, that's it. We just find a video with the args and that will join the string together. And we join with a space like this with a, an empty space in a string. Otherwise, it will join together. So adamjr discord. But if we add a space, it will do this. And it will, the searches will be a lot more accurate. So that's what we want. So we're going to make an async function here called find video. What will this do? It will find a video. <laughs> so the result is. So this will take time. Let's search YouTube for the query that we pass in. Now this is a complete query. And now, that's a string. What we're going to do is, we're going to use a ternary operator. So if result dot videos dot length. So if there is more than zero videos, if videos exist in the array, we return the first video in the array. Otherwise, we return null because there's nothing to return. Cool, now we found the video. And that should be an S on the end, sorry, of videos. Okay, so we got the video. Sometimes there might not be a video. So we type if video, so that's if there is a video. What do we do? We type const stream. So we're going to make a stream here. We're going to download the video. This is, we pass in the URL from this video here. A filter like this. So we, we only want audio only. So we don't want the video stream as well. So connection.play, so the connection to the voice channel. So we pass in stream to the connection. So this plays audio, which is important. Fire the bot. So seek zero, I believe this starts from zero. Starts from the zero in the audio stream. And we set the volume to one. Cool. So await message dot reply. So we're going to use template strings here. Now they allow you to put variables within a string. So now playing. So we're going to type the query here. So we're putting the video title in here, kind of like the query. So now playing video title, then dot. Otherwise, if there is no video, what do we do? Well, we can just copy this. So we reply with now playing that. Now we reply with no videos found or no results because we're not playing videos. We're just streaming videos via audio. We're not actually streaming the video. There we go. So that's the play function. Now the stop function. Let's do that. Now that has the name of stop. So async function stop. Now this is a lot more simpler. So we get the VC. So we obviously we pass in a message. So message dot member voice 
dot channel. So now we got the voice channel. We we want to leave it. Okay, that's it. Now we just await message dot reply. Now we reply with stop because we stopped it. Now let's restart. The bot has logged in. Let's test. So we're in a channel. Now let's see if our audio bot actually works or music bot. So we join a channel. Make sure the bot can actually connect to the channel. So dot play. Now we're gonna play Adam JR Discord bot. And now what's gonna happen? Hello there! In this video, we'll deploy an extremely powerful okay. Discord bot. Stop, it works. You can extend it, you can add volume commands, like editing this, you can seek, like move the position, you can stop, you can list the the queue, you can have a queue. You can have a lot. You can do a lot with this. This is very powerful. So, if you need help, you can join the AdamJR community. Link in the description. And also, subscribe if you find this helpful. I'll be making much better videos. Also, comment down below what music commands you want to add to your Discord bot. And I have another series of making a Discord bot dashboard and a course that you can watch for more information. Links are in the description for the course and the dashboard series. Anyways, see you there.